I'm Ryan and welcome to the Science Lab. And today I'm going to talk about diaphragmatization. What is diaphragmatization? It is a scientific method where you use trypsin to uh, uh, to make the muscle tissue of a species to make it transparent and you can dye the bones inside the specimen. Just like this diaphragmized fish right here. This is the process of me making the diaphragmized fish, which lasted lots of days and weeks. So now I'm going to talk about uh, talk a little about this fish specimen, which is called Brigmosaurus. And this species, you can discover closely the art of diaphragmization, where you can see that it is a bit transparent and you can actually see the red bones which is uh, the red that i dyed and inside there's also some blue which is re represents the cartilage and the red is uh, uh, the antennae like fins and its bones and and you can see a bit of its yellow, which is its fat in its body. So using diaphanizations, diaphanization, you can, you can use stuff like counting a fish's bones, or you could, or for a bigger specimen, you can also see how it works its jaws or how it swims with its fins just like that and that is how you use diagnose uh, specimens and why won't you use x-rays that is because you can move it unlike unlike an x-ray where, where you cannot only see the, uh, the 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 picture of uh, animal seeing its bones and you cannot see it as a 3d objects where you can discover around this diaphanized specimen. Well, how do you do the diaphanized specimen? Well, it, uh, it mostly consists of a few parts. First, you need to dehydrate it with strong alcohol, which is, uh, which is glycerol or glycerin inside. And next, you need to dye it with the color, which is the red and the blue which is the cartilage and the red is the bones. And also you need some trypsin liquid, which is the main thing that makes it more transparent because it hydrolyzes proteins. So trypsin liquid is actually in your stomach too because there it hydrolyzes proteins, which is the stuff that you eat that, you, that go into the stomach. And also you need KOH, which is potassium hydroxide, which is highly corrosive. That means that it can make the, uh, the fish specimen even more transparent. Well, actually, the, this fish specimen, some, some of them you need, to, uh, you need to process them through first. For example, you can get some of the stuff in its body out like its eyes or you can let it scales off first so you can have a more transparent uh, fish specimen that you can use in your experiments yes and actually diaphanized specimens have vary in different species you can do it to snakes turtles and camelons and lots of other animals. Well, diaphanization is also called clearing and staining, which is clearing its muscle tissue, making it transparent, and staining its inner body, which is that. And that is all for this time, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to give, a, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.